In this video, we're going to go over how to get started with Adobe Connect Pro. Adobe Connect Pro is a paid service for web conferencing, and it allows you to share documents, share your screen, have multiple audio and video, polls, chat, and some other features. To get started, you will have to have someone create a room for you in Connect Pro and send you that information along with a login. When you get to your login page, there's two options. The first one is to enter as a guest, and when you have people joining you, this is the instructions you will give them to enter as a guest and to put their name in the name field. As the host, you need to enter with a username and password. So let's go over a few of the features in Connect Pro. I'm not going to go through all of them, but feel free to look at these different options on your own. Up here at the top there is a button for meeting. Those are different options for the meeting. The most important one is this audio setup wizard. If it's the first time that you've used Connect Pro and you plan on using a microphone and or webcam, I highly recommend you go through the setup so it picks up the correct equipment on your computer. Also, the button to record the meeting is also in this menu, so if you plan on recording the meeting, you can start that here. Under the layouts, um, you have a few different options, and I'll show you in a minute how you can rearrange the pods however you want, but they do have some preset layouts in here, sharing, discussion, and collaboration. Those also are over here, the same ones, so I can switch to discussion mode, and I could switch to the collaboration mode as well. Under the pods, this is how you turn on and off the pods and add different ones. I'm going to go back to this sharing mode here. So the available pods are the share pod, which is this one right here. So you can share your screen. I'll just pull this down real quick. You can share your screen. You can share a document. You can share a whiteboard. And then it also has a link to any documents that have been uploaded to this room before. There's a notes pod, and this one has one already. You can just type any text in here. There's some formatting options. If you plan on using a phone conference line instead of the voice over IP, I think it's a good idea to put those phone numbers and any access codes in this note pod. The attendee list shows you who is attending this conference. The camera and voice pod, um, we can turn that on real quick. Um, and again, you can move these anywhere you want on the screen. So, and you can make them whatever shape you want as well. The camera and voice pod is a two-step process. First, you have to start your webcam, and you'll have to hit the allow button on the flash player. And sometimes you get this Logitech pop-up, too, because that's what kind of camera I have. And then it gives you this preview, and when you're ready to start sharing your image, you hit Start Sharing. So that's the video pod. If you also want audio, you have buttons up here that control those different elements. So right now, my audio is not being broadcast. These are my speakers, which are on. And you can just toggle it to mute and unmute and this one will start your audio and when it's working you will see the little lines beside the microphone like that. It also shows beside your name um, that the microphone is on and transmitting. This is the button to start and stop your webcam and this final button is mainly for participants to communicate with you about the presentation. If they need to raise their hand, you can ask how many people agree or disagree, and they can also give you some hints on your presentation, whether you need to speak up or slow down, or if they want to uh, applaud your presentation. And I think my video pod got put behind my share pod here. Um, but for now, I'm going to turn this off. If you want to remove any of these pods, just go to the upper right corner and hit hide. And again, you can grab any corner of any pod and stretch it. To share a document, you can do this two ways. One is you can upload the document, or two, you can share your screen with that document open. So in the first instance, we'll do it um, each way. 
So let's first share a document. When you get to this page, if you have any other uploaded files, it would display here. I don't have anything that I've uploaded to this particular room yet, so I need to browse my computer. So I'm going to open a PowerPoint document, and you can load a PowerPoint or a PDF or a Flash movie in here. And if you upload a PowerPoint or a PDF, which is the most common types of presentation files, it will convert it for you. And depending on how large the document is, this can take up to 10 or 15 minutes. Um, if it's a pretty small presentation that doesn't have hardly any pictures, this should just take a few seconds. So just keep that in mind. If you have a really large presentation, let's say over 20 megs, that one is probably going to take at least 10 minutes to get uploaded into this window. So you want to make sure that you get in here well before time to get all of those loaded up. So now my PowerPoint is loaded in here and it's really a good idea to do this ahead of time and go through it and make sure that it looks okay. It's gotten a lot better over the years, but sometimes you get transitions and sometimes you don't. This PowerPoint, for instance, has some transitions in between the slides that do not show up when it's converted into the Flash document on this program. There's also a button down here to show the sidebar, which is kind of nice. It allows you to uh, skip through your slides if you need to. There's also the notes section, and so if you have PowerPoint notes, they will show up here. And these are not seen by the participants, so you don't have to worry about the participants seeing the sidebar. There is an option at the bottom that says show the sidebar to participants, so if you want them to see this, you can, but this is just an area for you. So I'm going to toggle that back off by clicking the button again. Your keyboard shortcuts um, that you normally use to go through a presentation, like the right and left arrow keys, and if you happen to have a wireless presenter, they will work, or you can use these arrows on the screen. So I'm just going to go through um, a couple of slides. There is an overlay up here that allows you to add an arrow if you want. So you can add an arrow and then you can drag that around. So if you want to point something out during your presentation, there's also some drawing tools. So if you hit draw here, you can add some more text or use the pencil tool, uh, maybe a, a, a bright thing. And then you can circle things while you're doing your presentation. The other way that you can share in Adobe Connect is to use the share my screen option. If you click that, you can share your whole desktop. And if that's the case, it'll ask you which monitor you want to share if you have multiple monitors. You can share an application that's already open, or you can share one of the windows that's open. So I'm going to go to applications and I'm going to share this Excel document. So when you share a document, what happens is that your screen changes away from the Adobe Connect window and it goes full screen into whatever you're sharing. Okay, so you will know that you're sharing because it says stop sharing here and also in your systems tray it'll tell you that you're sharing a document. From this point you can just point things out like you would in any presentation and when you're finished just hit the stop sharing button. The last item that you can share is a whiteboard. So you can pull this arrow down and do share whiteboard. And this allows everybody to um, pick shapes. For instance, you can draw simple shapes. You can also put text on here. OK. Um, this is kind of fun at the beginning. So you can tell people as they're coming in, feel free to play on the whiteboard if you want. You can draw some simple lines, pick some different colors. So it, it's a lot of fun. You can do a, a lot of fun stuff with the whiteboard. And anytime you're finished with one of these, just hit stop sharing and it'll default back to the main screen. So those are the basics of Adobe Connect Pro. Again, there are some more advanced features. If you go under the meeting option in the toolbar, there's some preferences and some other options there. So feel free to explore once you get in here with your host account. But I hope that that gets you started and I hope you enjoy it.